Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm here in Encinitas, California for the launch of a very special vehicle from an iconic Japanese legend. It's this vehicle right here. This is it. This is the all new, first time ever, 2023 Lexus RZ 450E. This particular one is the top luxury trim. But before we get into this fully electrified luxury SUV, let's talk about what's going on here. Lexus. They've been around since 1989, we know that. And we know that Lexus has been at the forefront with many different designs over the years, especially bringing the first of the crossover luxury SUVs, the mighty Lexus RX. Well, guess what? They're at it again, and this is the future that's gonna lead to full electrification by the year 2030. Now, what's interesting is that Lexus has some really amazing SUVs in their lineup especially when it comes to compact crossover, which is what the size of this vehicle is. That vehicle would be the NX. And you can get your Lexus NX a lot of different ways. Plus, there's also competition from Audi, Mercedes-Benz, BMW, Tesla, the list goes on and on. What I wanna find out is if you're looking for a luxury SUV that's compact in size, but yet is fully electrified, is this RZ450E the better one to buy over a Lexus NX450H, which is a plug-in electric hybrid? Let's go ahead, let's find out what's unique and what's different from the NX and see which is the better new luxury SUV to buy. Let's go ahead and find out. Right off the bat, the dimensions. It really falls perfectly in alignment with the rest of their SUVs. And like I said, it's gonna be closest to the NX series because of it being a compact crossover SUV. At the front of the business, you're gonna get that unique Lexus LED lighting. So you have an LED headlight, love the way they do the daytime running lamps, turn singles, and we have a little bit of functionality from these corner vents, which I'm happy to see. Other than that, very, very angle, very, very nice on the color. This particular color is called Cloudburst Gray. It's a really nice metallic gray. It's got more metal flake in it than a pair of your grandfather's bowling balls. So nicely done on the metal flake. Also, it falls, like I said, the style looks like a Lexus. When you see it, you're not gonna be confused. Now, as we come across that large black area, normally you would see a grill, that spindle grill design. Look at what they did. Just like Ruffles has ridges, so does this area. They did some ridge design to give it that familiar look without it being a fully functional grill area. Let me know how you feel about this particular area. Of course, we got the Lexus badge, you got your forward facing camera, and then on the lower portion, this is where you're gonna have your full functionality because we have a liquid cooled lithium ion battery pack and I'm really digging how they did the lower lip. Very, very unique, especially compared to the Lexus NX450H. You got about 7.6 inches of ground clearance and like I said, we have two electric motors. So that means we're gonna have that E all wheel drive system that they're very well known for over at Lexus. Now, as we hop up top, this one we're lucky to have is a unique two-tone paint, paint scheme, just like we showed you on the Toyota Crown. Let me know what you think. I'm digging the gloss black with the cloudburst gray. I really think that it, it kind of cuts it up and gives it a nice classy look. Let me know if you like this particular two-tone better than what was on the Toyota Crown. But remember, on the NX450H, you can't get a two-tone. So you could get it cloudburst gray, just without the two-tone. But you'll notice on the hood, the way that they add these different plateau levels, these are here specifically for airflow from at the front of the vehicle to the windshield and then over the back. Now, as we come around the side of the vehicle, here's where you're gonna see some unique touches. If you're wondering, well, Joe, how many different trims are there? There's two different trims. You have your RZ450E Premium and you have your 450E Luxury. Ours is a luxury, so what does that mean? We have these 20 inch wheels, and these are actually not the standard 20 inch wheels, but the polished 20 inch wheels. Love the multi-spoke design. Of course, you have the electric motor is gonna drive the front wheels. The width of the tire, 235 on the width, 50 series sidewall. And what I like about them is that, like I said, when it comes to brand identity, 
the front of the vehicle and definitely the wheels is Lexus through and through. Now, one thing I'm a little on the fence on is this satin black area. It's not really gloss black. It's more like a satin black. Let me know how you feel about that around the fender openings. I personally think Cloudburst Gray would look perfect all over that fender, especially because it's got more metal flake than, like I said, your grandfather's bowling balls. So nice uh, to have that color on the fender, but let me know how you feel down in that comment section. Now, if you go with the premium, which is your standard RZ450E, those come with 18 inch wheels. So two inches smaller on the diameter, it makes a big difference. Now, when we come down the side, you'll notice the nice clean, look at how you got a concave shape to the actual top of the fender going into the door. We have gloss black on the mirror caps, our LED turn single slim and trim, 360 degree cameras. And because we have a two-tone, the two-tone goes from front to back, not only with the hood, but also with the roof line. And we have this panoramic glass roof that has some special touches that we're gonna show you when we get to the interior. I think some of my favorite styling cues up top, look at the way they have this indentation. It's all for airflow and then the door handles, the cloud burst with the gloss black. And remember, these handles are just like the NX. You actually don't pull on the handle, you push the button and that allows you to open up the door. Just like on the NX450, working our way towards the rear, I'm gonna have Lori kind of swing it around and show for aero purposes how that fender comes into the rear taillight housing. You have that rear pillar from the two-tone roof coming nicely into that rear area. And then out back, it's super sleek. The way they did the roof, especially with these two extenders on the sides to channel that air, you don't have to worry about a, a rear wiper. The way that they designed this is that all of the water will just coast off when it's raining into this nice rear hatch area. We got the Lexus name spelled out. You have, of course, your RZ450 E badge and that Direct 4, that E all wheel drive system. And then going all the way down, they went super clean with some of that gloss black, just like up front on that rear area, like the way they don't do fake exhaust or anything like that. And then also you'll notice that they did kind of like an angular vent, like the front. The only zonk is these are non-functional, but I do love the way they extended that bodywork. Really gives it pretty aggressive look from the back. But why don't we go ahead, let's pop the hood and see what we could find out underneath it. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. You do have a prop rod, which is surprising on a Lexus. It would be nicer to have actual hood struts, but there's a reason why they probably did that. Underneath the hood, there is no cargo space. So unlike some of the other brands that give you a front mounted trunk, there is no cargo space. To me, that's a bit of a zonk. Let me know how you feel in the comment section. You do have a massive strut tower brace there, that gloss black tube going from one shock top mount to the other. And then of course, what you're seeing is the electric motor up front. Let's talk about it. You have the two electric motors up front, out back. That's gonna give us a combined 308 horsepower. It's gonna be mated to a lithium ion battery. That's a 71.4 kilowatt battery pack. Zero to 60 in this, 4.9 seconds. The vehicle weighs 5,820 pounds and let's get down to the nitty gritty. What is the range? Now, if you get a premium that has the smaller wheels, the 18 inch wheels, you actually get a greater range. That's 220 mile range, which equates to 115 MPGEs in the city and 98 MPGEs on the highway. Ours with the 20 inch wheels has a max range of 196 miles. What does that equate to? 102 MPGEs in the city and 87 on the highway. So kind of interesting to see that they did not want to push for a little bit more range. Comparing it to the NX450H, remember you have that internal combustion engine paired with the electric motor and you got the battery pack, which gives you a little bit more flexibility. But why don't we go ahead, let's turn this on and see it in motion. All right, guys, we're inside this first ever 
fully electrified crossover SUV from Lexus, the RZ450e. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I'm thinking about diving into the deep end and going full electric. I'm not sure. You told me that I could do NX450h, but I'm also liking this full electric RZ450e. How much is it? So the way that this one is optioned, luxury trim, optional 20-inch wheels, two-tone paint, that awesome glass roof, which I'm gonna show you some cool magic tricks with. You're looking at an MSRP of $67,300. Let's see what you get for the money to the door panels. You're gonna get Thunderstruck. That is a color combo called Thunderstorm, and I'm really digging it. You have that lighter off-white with the blue. It's like an Alcantara material. Really digging the style. No gloss black around the switch gear. You'll notice the stitching on the midsection, soft armrest. The one zonk is that door pocket is on the tighter side. So maybe three Pop-Tarts with some chocolate frosting and a bottle of Go-Gurt to wash it down. Now going from the door panel to the dash, some interesting style. I actually like this a lot more than what is in Toyota's BZ4X. I like the way they styled this, the material. We got the Mark Levinson optional sound system. A little bit of cloth material here, which is kind of interesting. I wish they would have used the Alcantara from the door panel. Let me know how you feel about this cloth. Another thing, let me know if it should be zonked. There's no glove box. So there's no actual glove box here. You're gonna have to figure out where you're gonna put your gloves, your different pairs of gloves, because you can't put them here. Now, as you come on in, what are we gonna find? I like the way they did this angle style and mounted the AC vents, nice high, and up, you got your power on button, 14 inch Lexus multimedia system. We've already showed you all of the great features of this infotainment system in all the Toyota and Lexus reviews of their new vehicles. Let me show you some of the unique touches. You hit the little car icon. This is where you could actually display how the electric motors are putting the power to the ground. You could also have your charging schedule. And what's great is, is you have all your different trip information and of course, all the different driver assistance. Look at all this. This is all part of that Lexus safety system that's been updated. So I like the way they have all that. And you could turn it on and off very easily. And then you're right back to your navigation. I'm gonna throw it in reverse. There's our backup camera. You got trajectory. You got your 360 cam. You got a little bit of a warning thing, letting us know that Lori's hanging out the passenger door. I'm not gonna back up with Lori hanging out. The one thing that gets a little bumpy are not so much the dual climate controls, but these AC controls. You gotta be very precise with your finger pinpoint positioning to get them to work. And when you're driving, it gets a little difficult. We do have three stages of ventilated seats, three stages of heated seats. Let me shut those off because, before I burn, and two stages of a heated steering wheel. So that's a nice touch, but like I said, that index finger better be on needlepoint because you gotta be very accurate to access that. You'll also notice we hit the camera view. Look at this, at this special location in Encinitas, we could do a full 360 scan, see if anybody's gonna walk up on us and start taking pictures, the paparazzi. One, two, three, USB-Cs. Nicely done, wireless charging. I love this wood style finish. And then because you don't have a glove box, you do have an area down here with some microfiber suede material in the bottom of it to put a purse, a purse, a bag, a sack, a satchel, even like a bag of grapes or some apples, which are great. So nicely done there. Of course, you have your other port for your 12 volt, easy to get to. That's where you're gonna wanna run your radar detector. Two cup holders. We have our usual Lexus key fob. We're in car number three, lucky number three. Turn it around, nicely done. They do such soft material. I love the stitching and watch this. I could open it up for me or I could open up for Lori. And inside we got some cleaning cloths. I don't know if you've ever seen one of these. We're actually being tracked right now. So that's a tracking device, tracking radies rise to make sure we don't go on on throttle too much. You could literally put, I would say five California sized bananas. And here's a little fun fact, one average banana counts for two servings of fruit. So little tip health-wise from me to you, be careful with the sugar and the bananas. Seats, 
microfiber suede material. I love this blue with some leather, nice bolstering, full electric assist for the passenger. Of course, full electric assist for the driver. We're in a freaking Lexus. And then you got that awesome glass roof, just like the Toyota Venza. Watch this. Opaque, clear. Opaque, clear. This is like worth the price of admission to wow your friends and just like blow their minds every time you pick them up in your RZ450E. But you know what? We got more. Come on over. I want to show you behind the business end of this battery electric RZ. Hi right, guys, business time behind the wheel. What's nice is, is that you do get a total of three memory seat settings. Love the sill plate with the Lexus badge. It would be nice if it lit up LED. One thing to notice, I'm gonna lift up my legs, is that you have that flat floor. Because of this being a battery electric vehicle, nice flat floor. We got the RZ floor mats that's worth an extra two extra miles of range and five horsepower. We have, of course, our seat controls with that lower lumbar. I'm six feet tall and it feels really well laid out in here. It actually feels a little bit more spacious than the NX 450H. So if space is something that you want and you're not an astronaut, maybe the RZ is the better choice for you over the NX. These are things where you got to get your body in here. Steering wheel, the leather is as soft as can be. Love the way you got a little bit of st simulated stitching, the Lexus badge. These paddles on the back of the steering wheel are not for gears or even simulated gears. This is for the Regen braking system. We have a power tilting and telescoping steering wheel. And then of course we have that nice large digital display where you could see all that great information, your charge, your range, all of that great stuff that's gonna help you navigate through the different areas and we also have a head-up display. So they got you covered when it comes to information, not only on the eight-inch digital display, but also a ginormous head-up display. Let's go ahead, let's get in the back seat and see how much room there is for your passengers in this RZ. All right, guys, back seat time. And I'm telling you, remember how we talked about how important is space to you and how you weren't able to go to space camp as a kid and you've had all sorts of depression that you've had to deal with because of that, you could actually get your chance to be in space because there's a lot more space back here than the NX. One thing I have to do right away because my OCD right now, like there's an alarm going on, is this headrest. Now we, now I feel good. Now, now we can move forward. But you'll notice you get that Alcantara material. I love the blue. It's, it's just enough to make it look interesting and contemporary. You have these large pockets. Go to Trader Joe's. You could literally put 10 bags of spicy mango slices. I absolutely love those. And if you want to send me something, send me a big old box of those. I'll be as happy as can be. Command center, you do have AC vents. So you're going to be able to keep your passengers cool or warm. USB-Cs and three stages of heated seats, which are nice. Down below, we have a 12 volt. And another thing I want to show you down below is just how flat the floor is. Like I said, this being a full battery electric vehicle gives us more space than what the NX has. Still six feet tall, not even close to that beautiful panoramic glass roof. It feels really good. And then if you want more comfort, they got you. Ooh, this feels like a freaking Teddy Ruxpin. Love how soft that is with the two cup holders. But you know what? We got one more place to show you. Where is that? Let's get in the back and see how much cargo area is in this RZ. Right, guys, cargo area time. You're gonna hit the button. Nice electric assist. Love the way it rises up. And you're actually gonna be greeted to a very generous amount of space. So what you're looking at with the rear seats up is about almost 24 cubic feet of space. And if you fold the seats down, we're gonna show you how we can maximize it. Now, the thing I like to see is you have these large nook areas. So you could easily put a gallon of chocolate milk. And then on this side, you could put three boxes of Eneman's coffee cakes. Lori loves Eneman's coffee cakes, especially with a nice big old cup of joe in the morning. But wait, there's more. Look at this. Lift up the rear cargo area. This is where you're gonna have your charging accessories. You plug that in. The thing I love, look how much space we have. You can literally put 42 Chipotle burritos with extra California guac back here, even though it costs extra, it's gonna be worth it because you got plenty of room. 
The one zonk I have is to show you the space with the seats folded down. I have to actually leave this area. I like to do all my moving in one spot. I can't do it. So what I'm gonna have to do is to fold down the seats, I have to come all the way over to the passenger side and then fold down the seats that way. But you have a 60-40 split. There's your 40% down, we got 60% up, and now you got 100% down. Easy to fold down, it just would have been nice if they gave you the handles, the little levers back here. But what they did do is they made sure we got a 12 volt, which is good for when you're at the beach, in a parking lot, whatever you're doing. But that's gonna give you 56, almost 56 cubic feet of space. And if you notice, it's almost totally flat. So you could do that Costco run with no problem. Nice flat area, nice and wide as well. But you know what? I don't know about you. We got this thing charged up. We got some empty road. Believe it or not, in California, they blocked off some roads just for radius rides to do some on throttle. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's get to it and see how this drives. All right, guys, typical Florida weather. But the funny thing is we're not in Florida. We're in Encinitas for the first drive of this Lexus RZ 450E. Like I said, we're in the luxury trim and the sky's just open on us. But you know what? The show must go on. And it's kind of cool to be able to showcase that direct four all-wheel drive system. I'm going to go on throttle from a dead stop. On throttle. Look at that. Look at that. No slip, all grip. And what's interesting is that Lexus has some proprietary programming of the e-axles. So that electric motor up front, the electric motor out back, even though it's similar to the Toyota BZ4X, similar to the Subaru Solterra, there's specific programming that allows those e-axles to deliver a driving experience that is more unique to Lexus. And I'm really digging that. Another thing that I love right away is that when you're behind the wheel, you feel like you're in a Lexus. For example, yeah, you don't have a lot of wood finishes and metal finishes in here, but like I showed you earlier, the center console looks like wood, but it's not. It's a faux style because they're trying to use those materials that are sustainable in here to fit with the whole BEV philosophy, that battery electric vehicle philosophy. But very, very smooth and super quiet in here, which remember is going to be difficult in an electric vehicle because you don't have the internal combustion engine that cancels out the vibration. This, they really had to work even more so creating that serene Lexus driving experience than any time before because there is no internal combustion engine. We just have the two motors driving us. The massive head-up display, very clear. I love the way it displays my the, the speed limit. It displays your safety information. Even a compass there to let you know that, hey, you're traveling east right now. But hitting that throttle pedal really, really nice. We have the paddles on the back of the steering wheel that adjust that regen braking. And there's four levels of regen braking. Now, the one thing that the Lexus RZ450E does not have is one pedal operation. And let me know how you feel about that. I kind of like it in a way because it re makes you remain as a driver. Like if the car is going to come to a stop, you as the driver needs to make it stop. Whereas with the one pedal operation, sometimes you feel like you're driving a golf cart and it's kind of just doing its thing. So interesting how they decided to use the technology that they have in front of them in this very, very unique way. Getting to that massive infotainment system is nice, and I like the way that no matter which way you option it, you're gonna get the 14-inch system with the Lexus multimedia. Now, one thing that I learned by the time that the rain started is that that area where there's no glove box, there's a reason for it. So you let me know in the comment section after I tell you the reason whether you want to zonk it or not. But basically, this uses radiant heating. So there's heating elements on the bottom 
of the dash on both sides, in front of the passenger side compartment and the driver compartment. And what it does is it uses radiant heat to warm the area where you're sitting. Now, you still do have your AC heat that's kind of come out the vents. It's just it relies less on that and more on the radiate heating. And what the idea, the engineering idea behind that is that you're going to not draw so much power from the battery, which is really nice. But even though height-wise this is a little shorter than the NX, it feels more spacious because of that panoramic roof, because of being able to just make that opaque finish disappear. It really feels good. The one Zonk I do have is going into mode. You actually have to go into the infotainment. I'm in sport on throttle. Wow. You're going to get that instant torque from those electric motors. Remember, zero to 60 in five seconds. That is actually not too shabby for a compact crossover SUV like this. And this isn't meant to uh, be that barn burner that's going to blow the doors off of all the other EVs out there. This is meant to find that balance, but also, like I said, to maintain the Lexus philosophy behind the driving, behind the finishes, and the overall experience. But I like that with that 8-inch infotainment system for your digital gauge display, it does change its colors when you go into the different modes. So right now I'm in sport, if you go into normal, there's your normal, but who the hell wants to be normal? If you want to hug some of these trees around here in California, hopefully not a pine tree or a palm tree, you could put it in eco mode. And then there's a new mode unique to this vehicle, which is range. And what that's going to do is it actually uses more just the rear electric motor to increase that range. So you have a nice variety of ways to operate your RZ450E, but you know me, I want to be in sport. On throttle, here we go. Nice. Handles really, really well. We're on those 20 inch wheels, which remember are gonna, it's gonna hurt our range, but they look freaking good. I know that. And another thing that I like is when you go full on throttle, especially in sport mode, you get a little bit of that Tron cycle noise. Nothing too crazy but just enough to give you a unique driving experience. But I love the way the feedback to the steering wheel, it, it feels fairly natural and it's very precise. And remember, we're gonna bring to you the steer by wire. We're actually gonna get into one of those in a few moments after we're done with the drive in this particular model. But using those paddles to slow down, you could make it less, you can make it more. And as you see, I have nothing on the floor, paddle-wise, but really, really nice when you want to make those adjustments. Super easy. Going over the bumps and everything, very, very quiet in here. There's not a creak. There's not a rattle. Seats are supportive without feeling like you're sitting in marshmallows. And love the, that you just have all of the features for the seating heated ventilated and everything in between all right we're gonna go on throttle on a turn here are you ready for this on throttle here we go look at that direct four <laughs> who says you can't have fun in a freaking bev it's possible if you're in that right situation and that right frame of mind but the thing that I'm really enjoying about this vehicle, and I'm going to slow down. Nobody's behind us, so I, I have nothing to worry about. Um, the thing that I am enjoying about this is that it feels like a Lexus. I don't want a big, massive screen and nothing else. I like having the digital gauge display, the infotainment system, everything wrapped around me. We got to do it again. I know Lori's loving this right about now. On throttle, here we go. That torque. And like I said, we're not faking it because the road is totally damp from some downpours that just happened here in Encinitas. But it really showcases the comfort and the confidence that this vehicle inspires. I mean, look at this. 
really, really smooth. And it just feels natural. All right, guys, we are on this closed course. The rain is back and we are driving the steer by wire system. So this is an option on the luxury trim. Are you ready? I'm ready. On throttle, here we go. <laughs> this is fun. I'm having fun. I, I, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm definitely having fun with this experience in this RZ450E with the, look at that. <laughs> How quick it speeds up the turn. I mean, really, really nice. All right, guys, the sun is out again and the clouds are away for now. And we are behind the wheel of the steer by wire. Now this is only available as an option on the luxury trim not available at the initial launch but they will be eventually one of the things you'll notice right away is you actually get a different gauge cluster not from the style but where the location is of that cluster allows you to have better visibility clear visibility and then have your hands on the steering yoke all right guys here we go again on throttle, here we go. Really, really cool to drive this vehicle with the steer by wire system. And after you get some practice, it starts to feel really, really comfortable. And definitely the biggest benefit you're gonna find is just how quick the steering is. And that's one of the benefits, especially if you're trying to do a quick lane change or something jumps out in front of you, you then have that quick ability to get out of the way. I mean, watch this, when I go into this right-hand bend, I mean, very, very direct and quick with the steering, but not too darty, which is interesting, but very, very precise. I mean, look at this, really feels good super smooth and just overall it adds a unique style to it i like this yoke system a lot more than what we used in the tesla model s plaid it, it just feels better overall and i definitely love the materials in here the leather on the steering is just perfect and besides the different dash Obviously, you could tell that our regen braking paddles are much smaller, perfect for your index fingertips, and you have thumb wheel controls for windshield wipers, your lights, and then everything else, what you would usually find on a Lexus steering wheel. But as you can see, going over the bumps, it does not pull the yoke out of your hands. All right, guys, let's do it. On throttle. On the brakes. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> and like I said, quite phenomenal how it does not get pulled out of your hands. It's all done through, obviously, the ECU. But look at this, so smooth. But I'm hoping that this has been a nice addition to the video to showcase between regular steering and new steer by wire. All right, guys, it's been one heck of a day out here in California with this RZ450E. We wanna thank everybody at Lexus USA for inviting us out for this media event, but let me know what you think. Are you getting electrified by this RZ450E? Is it too much to go full electrification for your crossover SUV, or are you more satisfied going the NX450H route which kind of gives you the best of both worlds. No range anxiety. But let me know your comments in that section down below. If you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Raise Rise family. Of course, we got to thank the hardest working camera person that electrifies everybody's lives. Lori, working that camera like a champ. Show us some love in that comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.